Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona, your independent Sensi consultant. It is Sensi Saturday, and today we are talking about the scent of the month for April called Ruby Nectarine. I know it's very difficult to see in front of the warmer. That is the mirrored rose warmer. It is in the current catalog, and it is a stunner. But that's it right there, Ruby Nectarine. I did melt a whole clam. So, um, as consultants, you know, we get the opportunity to purchase the scent and or warmer of the month ahead of time uh, in a consultant kit. And I, last month, I had uh, declined the warmer because it was the gnome. And then I didn't think I was going to want the um, Desert Bloom warmer, which is the warmer for April. But that was a grave error on my part because yes, I do want it. It's really, really pretty. So I will end up ordering that uh, when it's available in April. But anyhow, we're gonna talk about Ruby Nectarine. And let's see what Sensi says. Uh, top notes of, um, where's my reader, hang on. Um, top notes of ruby apple, sweet agave, and honey nectar. Mid notes of bright yuzu, juicy nectarine, and pear blossom. Base notes of purple aster, fruity woods, and soft jasmine musk. And overall, they say juicy nectarine and ruby apple blended with pear blossom put a fresh spin on fruity. I love, while I don't love a lot of fruity scents, I do love citrus scents, and I really love grapefruit and tart, you know, juicy citrus. And I definitely got it here. I got the Juicy Nectarine, I got the Bright Yuzu. It was very, very citrusy. Um, um, I did not get a lot of, I don't know, honey. I'm kind of, I'm not disappointed. I didn't get a lot of honey because I don't particularly care for honey scents. Sweet agave, it's sweet, but I can't really say is that agave. Then for um, um, florals, there's pear, pear blossom and jazz, soft jasmine musk. I do get a little bit of a floral. I would say it's more jasmine than pear blossom, if I can even tell the difference. I, it's a floral, and it's a light floral. Um, so, or the, oh, the purple aster as well, it could be, but it, it's a light floral, it's not overwhelming. It's definitely citrus heavy, and I'm not mad about that. It was bright, it was zesty, it was citrusy, a little bit of floral, I, and that musk in there, there's a, that musk in there. I have to say, I didn't really get any musky notes um, as far as what I would expect musk to be. I just got a really nice blend of the um, floral and the citrus. So for me, Scent Appeal, I gave it like a 8 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. Throw, it could have been a little stronger. Maybe I gave it like a 7, 7.5 out of 10. It was definitely present. I had no problem smelling it. Um, but especially, obviously, with scents you like, you want them to be stronger. So I like citrus. I would have mind, would not have mind it to be stronger. But it was definitely there. It was no problem at all. So I'm thinking, <coughs> excuse me, yes, I would repurchase this. Um, yes, I do like citrus scents. And if you do, I'm pretty sure you're going to really love this one as well. I do. So if you're kind of in the same wheelhouse as me, as far as fruity scents go, um, this might be up your alley. There's um, then some more pictures of the Desert Bloom. And again, I really, really wish I had ordered it. But anyway, I can still order it when it becomes available in April. And also, it'll be 10% off for the month of April. This sweet little succulent adds a touch of nature to any decor. No green thumb required. <coughs> Excuse me. And a couple more pictures there. So it's really, really sweet. I really like it. Now, these are Canadian prices. Um, and Canada and U.S. is 10% off for the month of April. I'm losing my voice. And uh, same with Scentsy Bar, Room Spray, and Scent Circle as well. <clears throat> Ooh. So anyway, it's a thumbs up for me. It's definitely a thumbs up for me. Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, so we're going to get back to a little voting. Um, I'm going to try to, you know do some other things on Scentsy Saturday, strictly besides voting, because we're going to run out of scents eventually. We're going to talk about everything. But anyhow, um, so these are a couple that I got in the um, 
flash sale, which was an amazing flash sale, the best flash sale like in years. I really, really wish they would do them like quarterly and really have great deals like they have this time. The last couple flash sales, yeah, it was a sale. Was it a great sale? Um, if you ask me, I'm gonna say no. <coughs> Excuse me. Tickle. Um, anyway, let's get in because I'm losing my voice. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna show you five. The first two people to respond down below with one cent each, that will be the wax I will melt and review next week. And the choices are Disney's um, uh, Season of Magic. Roll of the Dice from the Nightmare Before Christmas. World Traveler. This was one of the Bring Back My Bars. There was 10 extra Bring Back My Bars that were only available in the Scentsy Club. So I threw it in my club, not having smelled it before. If I love it, great, it's in my club. If I don't like it, I can take it out, no big deal. And I highly recommend doing that. Uh, from Frozen 2, Fearless by Nature. And finally, from Villains, Dark and Devious. So the first, two, the first two people to respond with one choice each, that will be the wax I will melt and review this week. Um, I hope that was helpful. Again, I'm just going to say, if you like citrus scents, I, I would say go ahead and give it a try. I like it. Um, it did well in all the rooms. Um, currently, I have six warmers going. They're all Scentsy warmers. And that's a glass, that's a glass, <coughs> ceramic, ceramic, glass, missing one, glass, <clears throat> a hot plate. I have three hot plate warmers going, four hot plate warmers going actually, and two glass warmers, and it did good on all of them, no complaints. So anyhow, uh, that's it for now. Everybody have a great week, and I will see you soon. Bye.